coming to combination of fractures with joint displacement fracture of ulna with dislocation of the radial head is montagia the more common variety of this combination of forearm is fracture of radius with damage to the distal and radial ulna joint called as galeazzi galeazzi is more common so it's more commonly asked in entrance exams when i look at the damage to the spine there are three scenarios number one spine has got damage you have no sensation no motor power beneath that level call a spinal shock it can re- recover within few hours to few weeks this spinal shock the first sign of recovery is return of bulbo cavernosus reflex the terminal end of spine called as conus medullaris if that's damaged there will be asymmetrical loss beneath it with bowel bladder involvement or if the horse's tail the nerve roots at the end of the spinal cord is damaged called as corda equina syndrome it will be asymmetric loss with air reflexia and bowel bladder involvement some of the important fracture of the spine chart jefferson's is a fracture of atlas burst fracture of atlas hangman's h2 c2 over c3 slip is fracture involving the c2 c1 and c2 injuries usually have less neurological deficit also remember young female bilateral hand pain with morning stiffness is ra and this is what you can do usually take your hands up and that is why ra usually involve the upper cervical spine or the base of skull remember there's this question came in this ini ct this year if you are going in a vehicle there's a sudden halt your neck goes back and comes forward this is called as whiplash injury hyperextension followed by flexion and then if you have got an injury which separates your base of skull into anterior posterior that's called as motorcycle or the hinge fracture if it's a child less than 8 years of age and he has a spinal cord injury and you cannot see it on the x-rays but see on mri this is called as skyvora spinal cord injury without obvious neurological abnormality seen in less than 8 years of child